And now, coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria, it's Moments. Today, we're looking at individuals who are shaking up the world in the most gentle ways. They are Adiwali Aladijana, the CEO of Sapphire Sense, and Elizabeth Benwe-Remi, the founder of Teasum App. It was launched in um, October of last year, so obviously we're going to keep adding to it. It's, it's a lifetime project. Yeah. We work basically with Oud, Frankincense and Mare. Yeah. Okay. You know, those are the royalty of fragrances. Okay. Oh, awesome. Can I smell it? Of course, please. Okay, please I'm going to open. smell it. Sweet baby cheek. Mm. They share their passion and desire to give back. It all starts right now. Today on the show, we're talking about people who are making a difference. And our first guest is Elizabeth Barron. She's the creator of the Tessum app, which allows children to learn about their native languages. Welcome to the show, Elizabeth. Welcome, Elizabeth. Thank first of all, much. I think I'm really excited to have you here because you're a woman and you're into technology. And we really see that. Um, and then you decided to create an app that teaches kids how to learn their native language. So tell yeah. us about this and what made you decide to do it. Um, well, uh, it's no secret that a lot of people today don't know how to speak their native languages. Mm. We're really, really losing touch with culture, and it's a shame. So that's what we're trying to solve. We created the TESM app to teach toddlers and preschoolers their first words in English, Hausa, Yoruba, Igbo, and Swahili for now. We are okay. obviously working on other African languages. There will be more to come afterwards. So the problem we're trying to solve, um, it, I think it started from our generation. We, my husband doesn't speak his native language. Okay. I speak a little bit of Tiv, but not much, because okay. when I go home, my grandmother, some things she says, I don't pick up. Mm. And I, can't, I don't think I can, I can string a whole sentence in Tiv, but at least I'm one of the people who are better off. My husband doesn't know anything in his language. And um, we're both from different states. We have a 10-month-old baby, and okay. we just woke up one day and we were like, so what is she going to speak when she's growing up? Mm. Is, this, is she only going to speak English? Yeah. Anyway, that's where the that's how Tism was birthed. And, so. and when you you know ran the idea past, I'm sure family and friends for this app. What what was the feedback like? Because you know as you're saying like you know, I'm Yoruba and I can only understand, I can't really speak it very fluently, so you know, what you're doing is, mm. is, is really fantastic. What was the reception? Ah, it was really good, it was really good. It wasn't just family and friends, we actually did a small market survey. We, we went out to popular places where families hang out, like parks and um, amusement parks, mm -hmm. and we had a few people fill out questionnaires and they were like, this is a really, really great idea because mm. um, a lot of, there are a lot of cross-cultural marriages today and yes. most parents are like, we, some of them don't even want their kids to learn any of the languages. Mm. They just want them to grow up with English. I know it puts kids at a disadvantage because it's been scientifically proven that kids that learn two or more languages in their formative years, mm -hmm. they get they develop faster they have um it enhances their cognitive abilities mm. essentially they pick up things faster when they're older mm. so if why bring them up with only one language you know mm, that's, definitely that's and in terms it. of getting it you know in schools and you know on the curriculum because you know i agree with you i think it's something that should be taught in schools mm. um how has that been have you been able to approach schools to talk to them about the app um What's not yet like? we were in an accelerator program up until the end of january and it was uh we were geared towards growing the numbers so we just recently finished and we're going to start approaching school. And while the app is still in product, it's not in production, it, it's, um, we're going to be adding more to it. It's available oh, okay. for download on the Google Play Store and the um, App Store, the Apple App Store. Mm -hmm. And we're going to start approaching schools because I think it's too late to start teaching children languages by the time they get to secondary school. Because mm -hmm. I think that's what we have in the curriculum. I don't know if that's what obtains now, but that's what happened. That's what was there when I was in school. And I remember in secondary school, we were the three major languages was Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa. Mm. But have you ever considered including indigenous languages, like maybe Tif, languages that are Definitely. you know there's a good group mm. of people who speak it. Yeah. But maybe people might not consider them official languages no it's we're not working only with official languages yeah. we're working with indigenous african okay, cool. languages so it's this is 
The app was, we it was launched in um, October of last year. So obviously we're going to keep adding to it. It's, it's a lifetime project yeah. so to speak. So yeah. it's going to keep getting bigger and bigger. Let's say like a Duolingo for African languages. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Elizabeth, for coming Thank on the you. show. Thank you very and, much for having uh, me. I will make sure that I download the app and I do. use it more <laughs> often than I already have. Mm. I definitely need some help with my Yoruba. Coming up shortly, we'll be joined by another guest who's making a difference through their business. If you're just joining us, you're watching Moments Nigeria. Our topic today is making a difference. And we're joined by our second guest, Adiwale Aladijana, who is a social media evangelist, a philanthropist, and a master perfumer at Sapphire Scents. Nice to have you on our show. Thank you so Welcome. very much. So what is Thank it like being are. a master perfumer? What does that entail? Tell us. Oh, wow. Um, it's, um, I stumbled into it. You know, it was um, April of 2014. It was my wife's birthday, so I wanted to make her feel really special. Aww. I got her a phone, got a gold chain, and um, by the time I looked at what I had, my salary had finished. Mm. Yes. And you know, I, I, I just had a baby, and I had to do something. I was thinking of, okay, how can I make extra money? I, I guess I got carried away with buying stuff. Mm -hmm. you know, and um, I had a couple of friends, had, they were using this perfume called Oud. Mm. And it was really, really nice. I've been a fragrance person all my life, but that was just different for me. So I made inquiries and I had a friend coming in from Dubai and I said, um, you know, get me a bottle of this. And my friend brought that and, um, and the other just came to me, why don't I just start selling these perfumes? And that's how we started, you know, and I, I realized that I began to sell every single day. I was just selling perfumes and I was making more money, oh, wow. you know, and after three months, um, you know, I was excited. I made like a million naira. Wow. I, I, uh, I told my pastor about it and he was like, oh, wow, this is good. Come and see me. And he said, Wale, you know what, there's, there's just something on you and this business. I want you to expand, you know, mm -hmm. travel to Dubai, meet manufacturers, make good deals and start bringing them in the cargo. And I was just looking at him like, okay, we, we know how this will happen. And the next thing he wrote me a millionaire check. Wow, so you yeah. invested in your business. Yes, That's he invested amazing. in my business. And, you know, and from that day, you know, he, prayed, he said the money would not finish. Go and explode and take over. And from that day, we just began to grow wow. in leaps and bounds. And, and um, um, I just, you know, I just, I travel, smell over 200 kind of fragrances. Mm -hmm. We're just smelling and we are just making selections. Mm -hmm. And, you know, recently we started our online, okay. which is the Sapphire Atta. Atta simply means concentrated perfume oil. Okay. You know, and okay. so with that, we make our own fragrances. And you know the, the, the reception has been has been yeah. exceptional. Do you make do you customize fragrances for absolutely, people? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, so if I come to you and I say, yes. you know, I want to smell like Bolinto yeah. or Bolali, how, do, how does the process work? How does absolutely, it work? we just ask you what kind of fragrances do you like? Do you do you have um, any preferences? Do you like jasmine? Do you, okay. you know, whatever it is. But we work basically with oud frankincense and mare. Okay. You know, those are the royalty of fragrances. Okay. And you know, those are the those are what we really actually work with, but we mix we mix them up. And we do a lot of bespoke and, and talking about the bespoke line, I, I have a client mm -hmm. and I just mixed something for him and then he went to the state house and the first lady passed him and came back and said, Young man, um, what perfume is that? Re oh that yeah. is like the ultimate compliment I'm you, actually. I'm telling you, so I said, you know what, there's just something here. I'm going to take this much more seriously. Yeah. And you know, Nigerians we love we are very fashionable people. Yes. We love exclusivity, yes. you know. Yes. And so we, we have lots we of people that just say, um, you know what, I want my own fragrance. Nobody ever gets to smell like yeah. me. Ever. <laughs> so it's just between me and the person, you know, I keep the recipe. Nobody ever knows what oh, it is okay. that we mix for okay. you. So okay. nobody ever gets to smell like you. That's you know, so, brilliant, yes, though. I know that your business, you know, as well as being for profit, mm -hmm. also makes a difference because you give a portion of what you make every month yes. to the less privileged. Yes. Could you talk to us a bit about, about that and how you choose, you know, the charities to donate to? Okay. Um, a while back, and I, I realized that I worked at the T.Y. Danjima Foundation for four years. And, you know, what we do is just, you know, you know give money to NGOs and stuff. So, um that's the only place I ever worked, you know, so somehow I grew up with that culture as well that you, you always have to give back. Mm -hmm. And, um, and when, when I started Sapphire Sense, um, after a while we realized that, okay, we need to be doing something because the Bible says true religion mm -hmm. is to give to the poor and the needy mm -hmm. and the widows and the orphans. And we felt like, okay, we, we need to have that angle at Sapphire Sense. Mm -hmm. And um, right now we're in 19 states of Nigeria, mm -hmm. 134 distributors in less than two years. You know, in the wow. UK, US, and Cameroon, and um, so I felt like we needed to start giving back. Mm. You know, and um, what we decided to do was in every state 
where we have distributors will pick a state and then look for an orphanage, an elderly people's home, you know, a you know, something like that, and mm -hmm. just find out what they need. And mm -hmm. would, we donate 10,000 naira each oh. every month, and then we just bless them. We, we get a list from them, and then we just bless them and, you know, give back. And um, um, we, we've done an elderly people's home in Lagos, oh. an orphanage in Abuja, um, an IDP camp in Borneo State. Okay. And then this year we decided that um, we needed to adopt a community. I've had this uh, missionary, he's been talking to me for three years, over three years, you know. And, you know, he's been doing amazing stuff in places of Nigeria where nobody has ever been, through, yeah. been to. And I used to tell God that if God would bless me, you know, I would love to do that. So mm. this year he came to me like, this is the time. You know, so I called him up and he said, um, whatever this community, whatever it is that needs to be done, by God's grace, we'll be, we'll be supporting them. Oh. You know, so we are, we are planning to build them a school, we are going to clothe them, we are going to put water there, we are going to be doing lots of stuff. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, really, by that's, the that's really, really admirable. And, you Thank know, you. I find it so interesting because a lot of business owners mm. sometimes find it difficult mm. to give back. They Absolutely. say, well, our profits, mm. if, you know, we're in a recession, mm. we don't have that much money, we need to reinvest in the business. So mm. in terms of, you know, you clearly have a very, very big heart. Mm. What kind of has allowed you to just be so generous and give so freely? Um, I th I th um, the Bible is clear. It says, he who waters will himself be watered. The generous will be made rich. Mm. You know, Bill Gates is the biggest giver in the world. He's the richest man in the world. Yes. Uh, thank you so really? much. Thank you for yes. as well. I love that yes. feature. Oh, awesome. Can I smell it? Of course, please. Okay, please I'm going to smell it. Sweet baby cheek. Mm. In addition to making a difference mm. by giving, yes. do you also find that your business is having the ability to employ people and to also, you know, empower people who Absolutely. can have so they can have a livelihood as well? Absolutely. You see, our distributors, you know, that's that's how we do it. I mean, working class people, mm. they, they they can't um, do any other business. They don't have the time. Mm. So you have um, perfumes and you have these five ml bottles of samples, or to your staff, to your to your, your to, to your colleagues at work. Oh, I sell perfumes, mm. and you know there are certain things you use till you die. You will brush your teeth till you die. You will use perfumes till you die. Yeah. You know, so it's a lifetime business, That's That's and you know, so they they, they register with Sapphire Scents, yeah. and then they get the perfumes at a, at a lower rate. Yeah. So you know, just at your desk, you could be selling to your friends, and before mm. you know it, um, it's built on circles. If my friend sells something, mm. I'll not go to the supermarket. Of course. You know, of so course. that's that's a concept. Mm. So um, my friend, oh, my friend sells perfumes. Let me buy from her. Mm. You know, um, your first circle of clients most likely are always your friends. Or well, let me just support, and then they realize that oh, this is really nice. And then they are hooked, and that's yeah. how we built it. We have lots of people um, in six months made over millions of naira bought cars, oh, you know, oh, wow. afforded vacations, paid rents, you know, with Sapphire Scents. That's amazing. So it's, it's, it's you, know, you know, God is helping us to oh, do amazing that's stuff. Fantastic. That's so brilliant. Thank and you. we know that you have some gifts yes, for us. Yes, yes, So yes. we can we love actually, convert it looking to Sapphire Scents. I actually have bespoke fragrances. Bespoke fragrances. Yes, this wow. is, this is for Bolani. Nobody will ever get to smell it. Oh my like gosh, yay! And please, let, let, let me know what you think about <laughs> this, you know. We, we try to make, um, Packaging with quality. Thank and these you are so crystal much. Bottles. Oh my goodness, guys, yes. look at this. Can the you see that? So pretty. I love this. This is bottle. gorgeous. Yeah. Oh no, look, my picture is on the yeah, thing. Your picture's in hey. It. And this is. And this is one of my favorite thank pictures you. of me. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you so really? much. Thank you. Really? Yeah. As well, I too. love that yes. picture. Oh, awesome. Can I smell it? Of course, please. Okay, please I'm going open. to smell it. Oh, so, okay, so basically yes. you pull it. Yeah, atta, yes. So you just drop a little on your pulse points and. Sweet baby cheek. Ooh. That is I love this. beautiful. Thank you. It's so very this is clean Absolutely. smelling. So nobody will ever smell like this. Only me knows your recipe. Only you nobody. know my recipe. <laughs> no, you guys, this is like, I am, I'm impressed. Thank I'm you. This is just gorgeous. But, um, you know, let, let's get back to, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed by the beauty of this smell. Now, we also know that you have a, a little bit of challenges, yes. you know, in terms of reaching communities in yes. the north. Because in addition to being a perfumer through your business, you also actually share the gospel. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that. Um, you know, I was on my way to Dubai. That was like um, last week or two weeks ago. And then um, I, I was getting, I was just getting lots of buzz on my phone. So when I got to Qatar, the Wi-Fi, you know, mm. I checked my phone and then I saw articles all over the place on Naira Land, on Insta blog. And apparently somebody had put up a post that said that this is a call to all Northerners 
that some people are trying to um, um, uh, hijack um, a particular community and just turn them to Christians and all of that. And, and that wasn't, we, we never planned to do any of that. Mm. And it was, was in just, reference to you? Yes, it okay. was in reference to you. I shared a picture actually on Facebook, you know, telling people that this is what we are planning to do at Sapphire Foundation mm -hmm. and that uh, we'll be reaching out to this community, you know, give them clothes and all of that, give mm -hmm. them schools, mm -hmm. you know, and also preach the gospel to them. Yeah. That was our message. But the main message is, we are reaching out to this community to make their lives better. They've been there for a long time. Nobody's bothered to do anything yeah, for them. Yeah. No. You know, I mean, we can't leave everything for yeah. government. With yes. Actually, you know? and yeah. this it wasn't only about, you know, yes. sharing the gospel, but actually talking, developing the absolutely, community. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. You know, and we just began to see it all over the place. Lots of blogs and, you know. It's so sad because what you were absolutely. trying to do was just a philanthropic absolutely, effort. And, absolutely, You know, you being a Christian doesn't really come into it. You're there, you're helping people. Absolutely. You know, Jesus said, you know, we need to help our neighbors. That's yes. exactly what you were yes, doing. Yes, absolutely. For it to be taken in the wrong you way. You I felt, I felt really, really bad and, you know. So in terms of, you know, overcoming that challenge yes. and... Has it affected your mindset on how you would approach another community? No, well, um, I think um, we'd, we'd just be a little more subtle, you know. Actually, um, what I was trying to reach out to people because I saw that this was a big project. We wanted to, you know, source for friends and mm. people. If you want to be a part of this, that was why I put it up in the first place, mm. you know. But now I begin to realize that, you know what, um, with Sapphire Sense, all our distributors, we've seen a lot more commitment. Mm. You know, we won't be needing to reach out to people. You know, mm -hmm. I talk about the White Daniel Foundation a lot. Yeah. He doesn't collect money from anybody, you yeah. know, so we can start with what we have. And mm -hmm. as, as God continues to give seed to his soul, we'll mm -hmm. continue to do more. Yeah, so, that's, so that's amazing. That's, that's brilliant. It. Now, really quick before we let you go, um, yes. because of not only is your product a beautiful one, the product, you know, whatever funds you get, you also donate a portion yes. to Sapphire Foundation. Yes. If How much does this bottle go for? This goes for 50000 Okay, so, yes. and this is just like a, re a standard yes. perfume. Yes. Okay, now if you wanted to get a bespoke one. Okay, if you, you this, for the standard one, it goes for 20 Okay, 20 But if you want a bespoke for 10 ml, it's 50 Okay. If you want a 100 ml bespoke, it goes for 150 Okay. Yes. But that will last a long time because yes. it's, you just you need a little drop. Well, really. Nigerians don't like to use a little. They say, oh, this is small. Well, give me a big bottle. I want to finish what? this tomorrow. This, <laughs> they, they, they I, this, this could last now. me like, Four months. Yeah. <laughs> the thing about um, what I was saying is that sometimes when you have it on you, yeah. you can't smell it. Absolutely. But yeah. Everybody, Everybody around else you can, can smell it very can. strongly. Very so strongly. what has to be careful because you yes. just be really, you know, you, know, you just yeah, be very gonna, fragrant wherever yeah. you go. Absolutely. <laughs> For anyone who would like to contact you yes. about your scent or maybe yes. even about helping with your philanthropic efforts, yes. how can they get in touch with you? Um, on Facebook, we have a page called Sapphire Sense on, page, on Facebook. Okay. So if you just search Facebook, Sapphire Sense will come up. Mm -hmm. And on Instagram, you can check Sapphire Sense okay. and Wale Jana. That's my, my, Your personal. Um, my personal IG. Okay, fantastic, on, on fantastic. Well, thank once again, so thank you so, so much. Well, it's now time for a short break, but we'll be back with a book review. Welcome back to Moments Nigeria. It's now time for our review. And today I'm going to be reviewing a book called Tobacco in Eden. And it is by Portia Mama Anthony. Now this book is very interesting. First things first, I thought the size was different. Uh, I'm not used to reading books that are sized like this. Um, that's the only thing I would change about it, actually. I, I found it hard to read. <laughs> Anyways, um, but this book is really, really great. I mean, it's a fiction book and, you know, it's just... I think I love when Nigerian authors incorporate life in Nigeria, um, it, tidbits of characters who are based outside mm. of the country mm. and the nuances of that. And, um, you know, I thought it was a good book. I enjoyed it overall. I did think that in some places maybe um, there could have been more... Like, I, I don't like reading books that have too many sex scenes. Okay. And this one had a good so amount. a bit raunchy. Yeah, just a little bit, mm. just a bit. But, you know, if that's what you're into... <laughs> Whatever. This could be the best. That's for fine you, yeah. if you know you like that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was a it was a good read book, well written, you know. And kudos to Portia on was it this quick week. to read. Like, did you find yourself stopping and starting again, or were you kind of gripped from the very beginning? Definitely gripped from the very beginning. I think that it was written really, really well. Really? Like it was written really well. Um, yeah, it was definitely written really well. And I just like the fact that the characters were authentic. That's what mm. I really liked about the book. Yep. So if you have anything that you'd like us to review, feel free to send us to the address scrolling across the screen. Right. All right, it's now time for our question of the day. Uh, how have you made a difference lately? Ah, such a good question. Oh, difficult. 
um, lately, it's hard. I feel like I make a difference in little ways. For okay. example, I'm a big believer in um, giving to beggars. You know, people say, oh, don't give to yes. them or use it to buy drugs. But I just think, you know, at the end of the day, a lot of these street kids don't have homes. They've been separated from their families. So I'm a big believer, like in traffic, you know, just, just give something, you know, even if it's just like a little bit of change, yeah. it's bound to really impact that, you know, that person's life. Yeah. I completely you, agree with you, Tulula. Um, you know, I got to a point where I started to shut my eyes, but the question is, if you're shutting your eyes to these people on the streets, then what are you doing in like real life? Um, mm -hmm. So recently I started working with a group of women, um, some widows, uh, oh, since wow. last year I've been working with them. And it's called the Self-Worth Organization. They were actually guests on Moments. Okay. And basically we've just been working together. Mm -hmm. They just recently um, put up a skills acquisition center oh, and we put that up together. So I'm really, really excited yeah. um, because widows in Nigeria have it really, really yeah. rough. And I know that you do so much because you had a Valentine's Day party yes, for them. Yes, I did. This whole kind did. of get together yeah. and we had food yeah. and we could all it mingle. It was pretty cool. That's amazing. Well, yeah. you're doing your thing. It was pretty cool. But what I'm, I'm so excited about the skills acquisition center because now they're going to be able to actually learn how to make money and fend for themselves mm, because a lot of them live on handouts. So yeah, yeah, I'm excited time. about that. <laughs> you know, guys, let us know how have you been making a difference in your community, in the lives of your friends, other people. And if you haven't, maybe it's time that you start doing so. All right, before we go, we have something for you. Yeah, that's, oh, that's, that's cool. That's that's a good one actually, because you know we yeah. are always looking to others to do things. I think you know, look, in change starts from within, right? As exactly. They say. Yeah, hilarious. Well, that's it for us from this episode of Moments Nigeria. All this talk of making a difference has definitely got Bonnelay and I thinking about how we can do more in our communities, and we hope it's also got you thinking. We'll see you next time. And Thank remember, you. if you, you can, can think, think it, you, you can, can do it. it. Bye.